Hi everybody and welcome to Road Motorhomes at Gunthorpe. Today I'm going to be walking you around a 2010 Bessica E769. This one in particular has got 32,794 miles on the clock, 3 litre diesel engine on, based on a manual 6 speed gearbox, 5,000 kilograms gross vehicle weight, 8.7 metres long, 2.3 metres wide. Because of the age of the vehicle, it is a Euro 5, 155 brake horsepower, three owners from new and this one does have the 150 watt solar panel fitted so today i'm going to be going around this Bessica showing you and pointing out the key points and features and just so you can really get a better look of it from where you are at home so we've got the alloy wheel obviously we need a tag axle we've got six of those this locker here is an under obviously with the phone around quite difficult to show but this is a locker so it does allow for underfloor storage through there as well and it's also where you're going to access your two leisure batteries which can be seen on the photo file as well as you can see up top there we've got that nice little panel piece there which is your gutter in to allow water to run off the roof nicely we've got the toilet cassette with the water fill up just above coming down to the back you've got this rear garage door that you do get on both sides of the vehicle so we can access the garage and everything inside it from both sides coming around then we've got a tow bar fitted reverse camera up top loot and ladder so we can get to the roof for cleaning Around to the passenger side, you see the bodywork looks really good on that shot actually. But uh, full length recessed canopy up there to stop any branches getting caught behind it. We've got this secondary locker garage door, which we'll see if we'll get it open yeah. just about. So, if we go in here, you're going to see we've got the carpets in there, we've got uh, some chocks in there as well, we've got uh, some power 12 volt and 230, we've got the wastewater drain off tap in there as well, along with your awning struts and strengtheners for your awning. We've got the LED awning light on the near side, true heating vent, the electric step to your habitation door, which is a wider door than usual. We've got the water fill up and the 12 volt pump insert for a subversible pump. The gas locker there capable of carrying two 11 kilos, two sixes, whatever you may need. Down to the front then, and we've got the diesel fill up. And obviously coming back round to the front for a shot so you can just see the overall condition there as well. A nice piece of kit i like the low line i love that it's got the skylight on the top over the cab it really allows a lot of natural light into that cab area throughout the daytime the sun's just gone in now but obviously as we walk in we'll just pop the zoom on so you can see a little bit more you will see that even with that skylight you've got a lot of views from here and a lot of natural daylight so you are given this really big l-shaped sofa on the driver's side it does have two of your passenger seats and the middle cushion here can be removed for your forward facing seat belts when traveling We've kept the pop-up table in for now. Obviously, we can remove that and stow it away in the garage, but um, obviously quite handy. You can have that swung around for the driver. Um, so nice and nice and easy rather than having the big table up. Obviously, two captain swivel seats. We've got a Pioneer head unit. Nice entertainment system there. No sat-nav integrated, but there nonetheless. Got the radio through there as well. We've got the drop-down TV in the cab. Cruise control, you've got your six speed manual gearbox just there. I've just pulled out the cab line so you can see it's got the full round cab lines as well. And obviously, we've got the 12 volt chargers there too. Got plenty of forms of storage in here. We've got overhead lockers, we've got deep wells on the side as well that go all the way around to the front. Looking backwards, you'll see you've got all the lockers running all the way down on the driver and passenger side. We do have a lot of storage underneath this bench seat as well that can be utilized. But coming into the kitchen, not much to compromise on here as you can imagine a vehicle this size you've got the large fridge separate freezer obviously a three-way as well tv aerial and booster in the top cupboard we've got plenty of places store your pots and pans into the kitchen then you've got a nice basin unit with a mixer tap nice large window at the back there as well we've got the pull out drainers there and also a full draining board at the bottom that can attach onto the sink coming around here then you will also see you've got the gas and electric heating and hot water so whether you're wild camping or you prefer to go on site, it's not going to be a problem. We've got electric and gas cooking, separate oven and grill, full oven just there. Three ring gas hob, electric hot plate with the heat shield at the back. Two 230 volt sockets on the side just there. Nice extractor fan. Plenty of kitchen cupboards, plenty of storage in these as well. Even these nice little curved units that do look a bit fancy. You've got your chopping board sink cover up there as well, along with your microwave. So everything you need for cooking. We've got the large fridge separate freezer. We've got we have plenty of ventilation in the form of windows and extractor fans. Plenty of sockets. We've got two just up at the top there. And I think as I come around the corner, I've got two for your TV capability on this side. 
obviously surround sound speaker system we've got two down there as well just need a little area for getting ready throughout the day we've got all the wrap round wardrobes just there with your hang rails in them you've got your high level cupboards too and for a bit more storage we can lift the bed up easy as that with one hand on the gas struts we've got a pop-up table there that we can use in the front benefit of that being we can also use that outside under the awning so one table for all saving traveling more than one all the carpets as you can see and a bed in fill piece because essentially what you've got you've got this glorious island bed with a nice little headboard at the back the led uh, reader lights there too lovely skylight above windows either side so a really nice place to be in the daytime so no wasted space in this motor home. you're not going to leave this place to get dusty throughout the day you are going to be sat in here using it because it's a nice spacious area and very easy to get comfortable Coming back down towards us then, we've got the washroom on the right hand side. So we'll put the camera up in the air so you can get a good bird's eye view of the washroom. We've got this fully separate shower cubicle on the right hand side with a pull round screen. It does have its own LED lighting in there and also a lighting over the vanity basin unit just next to you. We've got the cassette toilet swivel down at the bottom so we can adjust that for the best comfort. And we've got two cupboards in here just for the additional storage and a very large window for ventilation so really nice kitted out bathroom obviously we can keep this carpeted if we wanted to got a nice little blow air heater vent in there as well so we can keep this place nice and warm if you are planning on using in the winter months with it having the double skimmed floor and obviously a nice winterized motor home so overall personal opinion beautiful vehicle absolutely stunning i'm walking around it it's not even swaying you can't feel it move it's very solid it stands really nicely it drives well on the road with it having the low line we've got loads of large opening windows a lot of natural light deep lockers for storage no compromises on the kitchen for cooking or anything like that and no compromises on the sleeping with this fantastic large island bed that we've got at the rear so if you do want to know a little bit more about this motorhome please get in touch alternatively you can come down have a look around it with your own eyes to get the best feel um, but just give us a ring we'll get the vehicle pulled out we'll get it plugged in get all the accessories in there on so you can really see it in its best light and have a good play around and have a feel for what this Bessica has to offer but for now i'd like to thank you for watching and uh, yeah hopefully we'll speak soon